Hi! So, it's been a while. Um, I'm not going to lie and say that I have been good about videos, considering I haven't made or uploaded a video in about two years? Which is really bad, considering I think about making videos every single day and I put it off for the next day, and so... Now is a good time, right? <laughs> um, how are you guys? Let me know. I'm really sorry. I know that I don't even have a large follower count, so it's not a big deal, but <laughs> my brother keeps saying to me, Lila, when are you gonna make a video? Your fans are waiting. And... Walzak? Making it now. And I'm really not used to looking into the camera because it's kind of weird and I keep looking at the, at the, whatever that thing is called and I'm really sorry. I'll start looking into the camera. But if I look into the viewfinder, that's what it's called. If I look into the viewfinder, I'm very sorry. I'm going to start by priming my skin. I usually don't prime my skin, but I'm going to because it's super dry and I'm just going to use a moisturizing primer. So this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin equalizer focus 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 yes focus um it's the white one i am just going to smooth that onto my skin my skin is prepped i feel hydrated i guess we'll use this new foundation what else what is there to lose? This is kind of a first impression, isn't it? I'm a real YouTuber. Okay, anyway, this is the Maybelline up to f 24 hour foundation. Superstay, full coverage, fair porcelain. Because I am very pale. Sorry about the background, it's just my room. It's very purple, I know. I'm going to take one to two pumps of that, just like a little bit, because I don't need a lot. I'm going to take my sponge, and I'm not going to wet it because I am terrible. And I'm going to dab this foundation into my skin with this beauty blender. And I'm also going to get a mirror, because it's very hard to do your makeup without a mirror, as many might know. Alright, mirror. Oh, look at you! Standing on a stack of books because I was too lazy to get my tripod. <laughs> ooh, ooh, close. Oh, I'm doing it again. I'm looking into the viewfinder. Stop it, Lila. Stop it, Lila. Just dabbing that into my skin. I think I need a little bit more. A little bit is not going a long way. This is not what I would usually do. I usually just use concealer because I'm terrified of foundation. This is my first real foundation. It's very scary. Um, I usually just use like BB cushions because I love those and they're great. Oh, this is pale. This is definitely not my color. Great. Guess we're blending down the neck. Oh man, I... This is not good. Look, it's foundation that's pale for me. Blend it into my skin. Alright, alright. Concealer can save me. Concealer can save me. Concealer can save me. I'll say it again. Concealer can save me. I'm going to apply this concealer. Shade difference. <laughs> I'm going to put this in a triangle under my eye. And I'm also going to put it on my lid because I've given up using eye primer and now I just use concealer because I find it works a lot better and I'm going to put it on any trouble spots that I have and also like right on my forehead because I really like highlighting there okay I'm blending this concealer in with my sponge hey quick little promo to me I have a really rockin' Instagram that you really should follow. It's Lila's underscore makeup. I think that I do some pretty cool stuff on there. So if you like me at all, go ahead, give it a follow. I have pretty dry skin and the foundations. I'm not emphasizing it. Maybe it might be the primer, but like, Hey, 
whatever works works honestly time for me to use this brush okay this is the Jessup tapered highlighter brush and a really long time ago I did a review on all of these brushes and they're super cheap and super good and I still have them and they're still really really good so I recommend it and I'm going to take this Cody Airspun this is an extra cover uh, extra coverage powder it's really good oh oh Now I'm going to use a big powder brush and I'm going to just get everywhere. Oh, by the way, I didn't even tell you what I was doing. I was setting with that tapered brush just like all the really precise places. So like under my eyes, around my nose, just the places that get pretty oily. Oh, this brush, I'm glad you asked. It's the Royal and Landnickel Multi-Purpose Powder, BMD. 101 brush. This is a BH Cosmetics 103 brush if you were wondering and I'm going to zoom you all in and move up in my chair. Kat Von D Metal Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I'm taking the shade Bone which is a really light bone shade. That's why it's called Bone. Really brilliant name. Sorry about my eyebrows. I don't like to do them. It hurts. Just setting my concealer with that. Pro tip. Always set your primer with a shade that's similar to your skin but a little bit lighter. It'll create a nice canvas. I'm going to take the Pro Crease Brush from Sephora, number 10. Okay. And in this Kat Von D palette, I'm going to take the shade Fringe. Fringe. It's a nice light pink shade and I'm really really into the pinks and I'm just going to use this as my transition shade and just blend this all over my eye like that in windshield wiper motions if you don't know what windshield wiper motions are go into a car it's a Luxie 249 and it's a tapered crease brush and it's dirty ignore it now I'm going to take the shade Silk, which is, uh, I'll show it to you, it's that one. I'm going to put this on my outer corner and blend it into my crease. Once that's blended, it's not. So you take the original brush and you just kind of blend it some more. Now I'm going to take this tiny Luxie brush. It's a 149 mini angled brush, thanks. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Ribbon, which is a darker purple. And I'm going to put that, like, right there. Right in the kind of, so that kind of looks like a wing, but not a fully extended one in the outer corner, but kind of dragging it inwards. Can you see what I'm doing? Gloss from purple on the color wheel is yellow. Saint and Sinner eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to take the yellow gold in here, and it's called Relic. Feel free to use whatever yellow gold you want and not be as extra as me. Like, I don't know why I have to use 10 million eyeshadow palettes. Bring that gold in the inner corner. I love me a nice inner corner highlight. And I also mix that with glitz from the other Kat Von D palette, which is like a light pinky champagne shade. It's really pretty. Time to do the lower lash line. I'm just going to take the shade Silk, which was the second darkest purple that we used. I'm just gonna smudge that on my lower lash line. You know, all smudgy like. I'm also gonna take the shade Ribbon, which was the darkest purple that we used. Time to do liner. One eye done. Let's see if I can replicate it. I'm going to take the CoverGirl Total Tease and Mascara. It has this weird, weird brush. It's odd. 
but it's kind of cool. And yes, I don't curl my eyelashes, and you should. Get one of these things for if your mascara is clumpy and declump it. You just kind of like brush through your lashes and it gets rid of all the clumpiness. And now I'm going to take a this Milani Luminoso Baked Blush. And I'm going to take a Luxie 522 Tapered Eyeliner Brush. And I'm going to smile and I'm going to put it on the apples of my cheeks. Because I love this blush and it makes me look really pretty. And please ignore my braces. I hate braces. Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder Mega Glow. Blossom Glow. It's pretty. It ain't gonna make me glow. A fan brush. It's from Kirkland. Which is Costco. So yes, I am using a Costco brush. It was the first brush I ever got. And I had no idea what to do with it. And now I do. I'm going to put on, it's my uh, favorite uh, lipstick, it is the lipstick Thursday from Colourpop. This is Thursday from Colourpop. It's a liquid lipstick. It's like a, a purpley, bright pink, bright purpley, it's nice. Pro tip, when you're putting on lipstick, do the little cupid's bow thing first, and it'll work from that. It's my narcissistic moment. <laughs> for watching guys i know that this was really weird i'm in a really weird mood i'm sorry if you enjoyed this kind of sit down and like chat and like do it and do it kind of video then like i don't know subscribe comment like it do all the things that you can do and i love you bye